this is XK and welcome to Cyber Explorer. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to generate a hash value in Python and we'll be explaining every step in details. I want you to understand, not just remember, okay? So let's get started. To begin with, I will be importing the library called hashlib and then declare a new variable. Let's do it. Initialize the variable the text called test string. Now we need to decide on a hash function. I will go with md5 first. So I will be calling the hashlib.md5 function on our test string which is x and store it in another variable say y. So it's y equals finally print y. Great. This seems easy, right? But here's the problem though. Our test string is in ASCII, which this function doesn't accept, unfortunately. So we need to convert it to its Unicode equivalent of the same size as that of the ASCII, which here is 8 bits. This is popularly known as 8-bit Unicode transformation format or UTF-8. So we'll be adding this dot encode UTF-8. See. Okay, let's run it. But this is not what we are looking for. So what we are looking at right now is a reference of the md5 object and not its value. So we call dot digest. Not so familiar, right? Yeah, this is in bytes format. Let's change it to hex digest. Voila. Now I think you are familiar with this. So this is the hash of test string using MD5 algorithm. You can also use another algorithm, let's say SHA1 or say SHA26. SHA512. Why not? See, you can play around with it. It's not that difficult. That's all I wanted to talk about in this video. In my next video, I'll be explaining about hash inversion and how to perform it using Python to get back the original text from the hash. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button for the upcoming videos on this channel, which will be related to cybersecurity and programming in Python. Also let me know in the comment section if you want me to make a video on a particular topic on security and programming. So until next time, stay safe and stay curious. Thank you.